Okay, everyone wants great sex, right? If you're sexual anyway, you want great sex. What separates people that have awesome, amazing, mind-blowing sex on a regular basis from those of us that maybe not? Hi, I'm David Essel. You know, one of the coolest things about being on national radio is that every week for 22 years, I've had a chance to interview amazing people in the world of sexuality and intimacy and love and everything else, but I've also had a chance to counsel and to coach thousands of individuals and couples over the last 25 years in my office right here, helping them to become more intimate and more sexual. And everyone's always saying, what are the keys to great sex? We do weekend workshops on this topic, but I'm gonna give you three really quick hitting ones right now. And in the future, we'll give you more. Number one, one of the top keys to great sex is to love your body. When I say that, so many people go, what? Like, oh, I would love my body if I had the body of Carmen Electra or Arnold Schwarzenegger or whoever it might be, Brad Pitt maybe, if you think he's got a great body. But my body, and here's the thing, when you're comfortable in your own skin, when you're not putting yourself down, when you can be naked in front of the mirror and learn how to love your own body, you will become more sensual, more sexual, your partner will love you. So many couples I work with, the man or the woman will say, you know, shut the lights off and when they're off, I'll come in and we'll make love. That doesn't work. If you want great sex, outrageous sex, passionate sex, you have to learn how to love your body as it is right now. Then make the changes you want to make. You know, go on the right diet, exercise the way you want to. But the first key is to love your body. Number one, fall in love with it. Do whatever you have to do. And I can help you learn how to do that. But do whatever you need to do to love your body. Number two, let go of all resentments against former lovers. So many times in bed, if we have resentments against a former lover that maybe was too rough or maybe was boring or maybe uh, emotionally abused us or physically abused us, if our current partner does anything that comes close to a former partner, we freak out, we shut down, we just aren't sexual, we aren't sensual. And some people go, well, that's normal, isn't it? Well, it's only normal if you're holding resentments, which says you haven't done the work to forgive yourself and forgive your former partner for whatever happened in the past. Okay, so number two, you got to find a way to forgive your former partner, to get, let go of those resentments so you can be fully present for your current lover and rock their world. And then number three, You've got to explore. You've got to try different things. I mean, order books and CDs and DVDs on different sexual positions, role playing, um, everything in the world. You know, I, I've coached so many people in the world of sensuality and sexuality in 25 years, helping them to explore their mind, to get out of being bored, whether it's learning how to make love in your backseat of your car, if you've never done that, on a golf course at midnight. Maybe it's role playing with different types of thoughts and ideas. You know, even though. I hate that book, Fifty Shades of Grey, because it so misrepresents the role playing of submission and domination. There's so many different categories that you can play with. Google this stuff, for God's sake. But get your mind active. You know, get into different thoughts and ideas and how to be creative in bed. And part of that creativity, of course, always that we teach at our workshops is going to be to look into the eyes of your partner from time to time when you make love. You know, that's being open-minded. That's trying new things. Hey, if I can help you, contact me at talkdavid.com. One of our greatest assets is working with individuals, singles and couples, and helping them to explore their sensual and sexual paths. I'd love to do the same for you. Again, it's talkdavid.com. Have an awesome, awesome day.